What's happening, Anthony at Metal Miners, back with another video. Uh, today I want to do a quick one in response to my friend out in Texas, with the channel name of Some Dude in Texas, a response video to his video that he put out uh, last week or so. Which five death metal albums from your collection would you save if there was a zombie apocalypse? Five death metal albums from your collection that you would save if we were overran by zombies. And I'm telling you, around here where I live, some days I think I've been overran by zombies, but uh, I'm going to do a tape edition of that instead of uh, mixed media. I picked out all tapes that I think that I would grab if I could just grab a few things as I was going out of the house uh, that the zombies would probably be coming to get anyway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so in the background we're going to listen to a tape as well. Uh, we're going to listen to internment. Internment, however you want to say it. Swedish death metal. This was their 1991 uh, demo. This is a 2024 reissue on Intuit Records. Absolutely wonderful stuff, in my humble opinion. I hope you will agree. So I want to show you all a few cassettes out of my collection. I don't guess any of them are overly expensive. Probably uh, some of them are kind of rare, but uh, to me they're near and dear. The first one and the last one I actually got uh, was this one here. Go to Menace, and this is Demo 1996. Uh, of course, if you're familiar with my channel, you're probably familiar with the uh, Go to Menace uh, channel, that goat metal show. This is a reissue, like I say, of their 1996 demo. Death Farm Records. I actually ordered this one uh, from the label and was glad to get it, man. Don't know how many copies were actually made, but uh, I actually wanted to get me one and I didn't want to take a chance on winning one, so. Uh, Barry actually had a contest where he gave a copy of this away. I think it's a different version, but uh, this is the Death Farm version. And uh, there it is, folks. If you're a Go To Menace fan, uh, Death Farm Records is where you're going to have to go to get it. And that would be one that I would grab on the way out of the door simply because... I'm a Go To Menace fan. I'm a fan of Barry and the Silent Producer. Uh, they've been good to me and I, I surely appreciate it. The other one, another one, not the other one, but another one that I would grab on the way out the door uh, would be this. And this is Septic Fumes Rehearsal Split Promo 2024. And the reason why this one is near and dear to my heart is because it was sent to me by the band. I don't know how many of these were made, but it's very limited run, I'm sure. But uh, these guys, I'm sure, are going to be big name big name band one day they they just uh, I, I just love their stuff septic teams you may be familiar uh, with their 2023 promo septic teams 2023 promo uh, this one actually was on extremely rotten productions this one is as far as I know uh, self-release so that's two uh, the third one, now this one is uh, rare and limited. This one was only 10 copies were made and it actually came with a ring. 
Here's my ring that it came with. I'll take it out of the bag and show it to you guys. There you go. Of course, you can see there that this is Elix. I never know if I'm saying that right, if it's Elix or Elix. But this is the Karen's West Bench demo. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. This one is. Uh, Limited to 10 copies, and like I say, it came with a, uh, a ring, and it came with a few stickers. And this little thank you note, and it was signed, and there I've got number 10 of 10. So in my opinion, this one's pretty rare, and uh, guys from Salt Lake City uh, have always been near and dear to me and the channel so I was excited to be able to grab one of these there you go like I say it came with that ring Elix uh, the other one I just got I finally found a copy of just a, a, a few days ago actually a few weeks ago when it finally got here a few days ago uh, and that is Dipicus simply titled 2015 this was self-released uh, these are not that easy to find had it on my want list list on Discord for quite a while and finally a copy popped up um, came with this uh, hand thing is hand done here you know do it yourself deal I'm a difficult fan um, love everything these guys and gal have done and uh, I was glad to finally find a copy of this like I say self-release I don't I'm not sure how many copies were available but uh, this one is not that easy to find not impossible but not that easy if you start searching it might take you a while and the last one I guess is a little bit easier to find not real easy to find because there's only 50 copies made uh, but it's a uh, band that's near and dear to my heart and that's War Flirts, and this is the Lurking Doom EP. This was War Flirts' uh, first release for practical purposes. Um, it came with these two stickers. Like I say, it was limited to 50 copies. I got number 41 out of 50. Is that on Gurgling Gore? Thing. And what is so neat about this one, in my opinion, is if you look on the spine, it was Big Daddy Gore's first release, Gore number one, and it was a limited edition of 50 cassettes, and I got number 41 out of 50. Um, finally found this one on Discogs as well. was glad to get that as I am a Wolf Lurch fan actually uh, I was just looking while I, uh, while ago and um, the uh, new uh, Wolf Lurch release not new material but the new Wolf Lurch release on cassette looks like this out on Gurgling Gore as well there's the name of that. This is some demos from 2023, and it's on Gore 72. So, uh, from from Big Daddy Gore's first release to his 72nd release, and everything wonderful that he did in between. So that's my five cassettes for Sean's uh, 
reaction to Sean's video in case the zombie apocalypse happens. These are the five cassettes that I'm gonna run out with in my back pocket uh, after we have a mass killing of zombies around here and we're completely out of bullets. I'm gonna get these five cassettes and hit the door. Man, I appreciate y'all. Check out Sean's channel if you hadn't. I think there's actually a couple channels called Some Dude in Texas, but you'll know right away which one is the metal channel. Sean at Some Dude in Texas. Man, he's doing it right. Uh, growing him a great channel, man. He's getting, he does an awesome job of his editing and stuff. Got great taste in music. All around great guy. So check him out. Whoa, get you some War Flirts if you're not familiar. Man, you got to check out Dipicus. Great stuff. Elix, Salt Lake City, like progressive death metal. California, old school, nasty, filthy death metal and septic fumes. And of course, these guys here label themselves as death core out of New York City, New York. The GOAT guys, that GOAT metal show, Barry and the silent producer. Check them out if you haven't. Dear friends of mine, dear friends of the channel, you're going to have to go to Goat Farm to get you one, though. Thank y'all. I appreciate it, man. Check out Sean's channel. We'll see you later.